are coming right when I start vlogging. Alrighty, good morning. Um, I have some other vlogs, but I haven't put them up. Um, so, where was I? Good morning. It is a lovely Tuesday morning. Um, I realized I hadn't talked much about Christmas. Um, I know it's not like stepmom uh, talk, but you know what? What the heck? We're just going to talk about it. Um, so I kind of want to talk a little bit more about Christmas. Um, like most custody agreements um, that I've heard of, the parent, one parent will get like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day one year and then the next year a parent will get you know the next year they'll get both of them um but the way that billy and his ex decided was that they would flip flop like you know whoever's year it was to get christmas the other parent would get christmas eve um and i really think that that's a great idea i think that it's um it keeps from both parents missing out on that time and yes um you know, because whatever parent gets Christmas Day, the other parent, you know, will, like, if you get, if you didn't get them Christmas, you got them Thanksgiving and blah, blah, blah. But to me, yes, Thanksgiving is a, is a, is a big deal, but to me, it's not as a big deal as Christmas is. To me, Christmas is a, it just is a bigger deal. Um, like, I would give up Christmas, I mean, I would give up thanksgiving like every year if i could have christmas so you know it's um it's a bigger deal to me and there's some holidays that are like that it's just a bigger deal anyway back to where i was going with that um i like that idea that the parent one parent gets them on christmas eve one parent gets them on christmas day i like that i have known of maybe like one other couple that did that well no two because my aunt and uncle um, so I have heard of like two couples that do that. And I think that that's an amazing thing to, um, to do because yes, you have the whole, you get them the first half of the Christmas break. I'll get them the second half and blah, 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 blah. But I do think it is fun and it is a great thing. And I, I, I truly, um, like that. So, we did. Michael went to his mom's house on Christmas Eve. We um, got him back late that day. Um, he had so much fun. He had so much fun talking about it and everything like that. We had him Christmas Day. Um, we woke up. I wouldn't even say we woke up that early. I remember as a kid, we were waking up at like 6.30 in the morning. Um, but we woke up early. We opened our presents. We had a yummy breakfast. We went to his dad's house, um, to Billy's dad's house, and had a yummy lunch. We had some steak. That that 11, almost 12-year-old can seriously put some food away. Um, and we just had a great time with his nieces and nephews. And after that, um, we met up with his mom and stepdad. And then we uh, headed on home and then had a lovely little evening Christmas with my sisters and so overall we had a great time um I truly enjoyed it I think it was great I think it was a different style growing up we did it differently we went to my grandparents on Christmas Eve we did ours on Christmas Day we saw my mom on Christmas Day and my mom's family on Christmas Day um so it was definitely different than I'm used to but it's I'm totally for new traditions I'm totally for doing things a little different um and we're still kind of at the the this is our second year Christmas together um the year before we were very new into our relationship so of course I just did my family traditional things he did his family traditional things and we kind of just kept you know kept on with it that um so this year is definitely different and so, therefore, we continue on with our new um, traditions. And I think that it's, it's great like that. I mean, you just create your new memories. And I think as we go, we'll continue to make them. Um, 
but overall I feel like we had a great Christmas break you know each day he opened up a new envelope each day it had um, a different countdown to the you know Christmas break it was a different or countdown of Christmas break I really I guess you call it um, he opened a different envelope he, we got to do something different whether it was like one day it was watch a movie you know we just stayed home I mean we watched a movie one day was like a board game uh, Michael was to pick the board game that you know we were supposed to play um, things like that because and also with that it was because it was like Christmas Eve I'm not really gonna go take him out to do anything we ordered a pizza and we did that because it is absolutely crazy on Christmas Eve and we had already been driving around um, I know that was the day before Christmas Eve my apologies he was with mom on Christmas Eve um, we were driving around and I was looking at everything and I was like this is insane um, I'm not doing this like the stores were packed he had already gone to his little robot class and um, I had dropped him off at his robot class and then I had come home and I was like Walmart's insane I just drove by it I was like Walmart's insane and everything um, I came home my sister had come over we were talking and I was like uh, no like I had already planned what he was gonna be doing like through the days but I was like, no, we're not doing anything else tonight. So I had ordered the pizza, and I was just like, yeah. And I kind of knew it was going to be like that. And the same thing, Christmas Eve was crazy, you know. And his his note in there was just have a great day with mom and sister and, you know, your grandparents and stuff like that. Because it was. I mean, you're going to have so much fun over there that, <laughs> that it's going to be great. But overall, I would say it was a great day. Next year, is it going to be able to be that? extravagant probably not um or maybe it will be i really don't know what our circumstances our situation is going to be the reason it was able to be that extravagant this year one because i had the pto hours to take off of work um to be able to do it two we had an amazing group of staff this year that were able to like you know they were understanding of me being off they knew why I wanted to be off and they were they knew what they were doing like they're like yeah we got this um whereas before we had had just a huge group of staff that had uh left for different positions some within the company and some to different positions outside the company if that turnover would have happened any later it may not have happened um but no, we had an amazing group of staff. We had an amazing group of managers and stuff like that that was able to help that all all that work out to where I was able to take the time off. I had the time off, the time built up um, to where I could take the time off. And I was just ready to go and it was great. Also, I had been working on building up all of the money needed, all of the points needed, all of everything needed for him to be able to do all those different activities. Um, and I did, was able to get, you know, use coupon codes um, and different things like that. And actually got a surprising break on one of them. They changed the price to a cheaper price um, once I, once right before the the camp experience started and so that dropped that price forty dollars so that ended up paying for because I was already expecting that it paid for another activity he was able to do and so it made the experiences amazing and there were some things that there was a snag in the plan like there, it was something else planned and um, we weren't able to do it I think that actually happened twice that there was something else two things planned that I had to last minute flip but overall, I think it was a great experience. Is that going to be able to help you next year? I don't know because I don't know what our plans are going to be. It may not be. Um, and it may be. It really, really depends on um, how everything goes. But I'm really excited that overall everything was able to kind of balance its way out. And we were all able to have fun. Um, and it was great because yeah, I mean it did take a lot of planning and it's so funny 
because I'm one of those people like six months, seven months before something starts, like the, the beginning of summer, I'm already planning, you know, what is he going to be doing? How is he going to be doing it? Where is the money going to be coming from? Um, I'm already planning those things because I want him to have those opportunities and do it. Um, versus him not get the opportunities and then me be extremely bummed out because he didn't get to do something like that. So, things like that, it is a huge deal for me to get to plan those things out for him. And so, my sister laughs because she's like, it's already January 1st and you're planning Easter. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Because I need to budget for all of that. I need to plan it. I need to know how we're going to do it. Um, one, because of work. Two, because you never know what's going to happen. Three, because of money. So, um, I'm always planning ahead and trying to make sure that I get the best deal, that everything comes together. So, um, I was like, girl, it was in December and I'm already planning <laughs> summer break. Like, you know, what's going on? What's going to happen? So, it definitely is a lot of fun. I enjoy it something fierce. And so, I would say overall, we had a really great in, a Christmas break. And like I was telling Billy, I was like, this may not happen next year. And then we may be able to do something completely in polar, like, opposite or something to, like, more, like, even more extreme than this was. So, I really don't have a complete plan for what's going to happen. I said, and I may not have the hours next year, so it may be that I have to work. But we do things like we did once last year during spring break. I had to work. I didn't have the hours to take off. Too many other people had taken off. So, um, last year during spring break, I had to work. So, we had activities planned every night after I got off of work. Um, and then they had an activity planned, like, Monday. So, they were able to do stuff. We did do stuff as a family. It was just different. It was like, okay, well, we're going to do it this way, which was after I got off work. They had their free time during the work day when Dad and I was at work. And then during a period of um, work, there was time where Dad was actually off. I think he was off like two days, and then a couple days he actually got home really early. So he was home by lunch. So, I mean, it wasn't like the full time, oh, Dad, you know, we were gone all day long. So that was good. It was like just making it. But, yeah, overall, I would say it was a smashing hit, which makes it all better and more fun. And it lets you know that all your hard work was worth it when you look back and you say, we did it. You know, this was a success. We did this. It worked. Um, the kids really enjoyed it. And let's, you know, it makes you get excited about planning the next holiday because, it does. If nothing goes according to plan or nothing works out, it makes you bummed and then you don't want to plan anything else or the kid gets really spoiled or pops off or something. It's like, well, I don't want to do anything else for you because you're back like crap. But overall, I would say it was a very smashing success. And Billy even said, this was a fun Christmas break. And I was like, yeah. I said, I really enjoyed it. I felt like he really enjoyed it. We, Billy really enjoyed it. I said, it did. It went off. It, I feel like it was great, and I feel like he had a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do this again. Um, we don't, because we had him last year for spring break, we don't have him this year, so that just gives me a whole nother year for 2018 to plan spring break. Um, I probably will have to work, but I can still sit there and plan it according to what, you know, if I do have to work, this is what we can do, this is what he can do, this, you know. And it'll be fun. So thanks, guys. And I'll talk to you later.